What is going on, my vlogging world? How the heck are y'all doing out there today? Um, I'm sorry I haven't vlogged in about a month. Um, and I'm also sorry that in the no uh, no vlogs video that I posted, I said I had a video planned up. Unfortunately, things came up and that video was not come to pass. Um, I'm probably still gonna be doing it, just not at this moment. I know my last video was uh, the work vlog where I did the Children's Miracle Network fundraiser for work, um, and I haven't posted since then. Um, but I decided to do these two videos for you because um, I felt I felt it was appropriate to do these. Um, two years ago, to this date, August twenty fourth. I posted a video called True Thoughts. Now what that video was, was a compilation of some of my coworkers posting or uh, ma uh, making a video of their true thoughts about me. Now, <laughs> um, that video was very tame because I'm pretty sure my coworkers didn't want to say anything I guess negative but also at the same time to keep it kind of video appropriate because actually it's worse now because I was uh, back then they had this all these strict guidelines with YouTube but what am I saying it hasn't even changed so um, here is a warning um, there was one at the very beginning of the video but I'm gonna warn y'all now this video has um, explicit content Basically, meaning there is um, cussing in this video, and I do apologize for that. Um, this is True Thoughts Part Two, where my friend group are telling their true thoughts about me. Um, some of them, some of them decided not to do it because they didn't want to be on YouTube. But at the end of this video, I'm going to be reading um, a card that. Everyone wrote for me for my birthday, which was, as I said, it's August 24th now that I'm recording this video, which was two days ago, but this card was written to me yesterday. And all of my friends signed that showed up yesterday to my party, and I will be saying this, reading this, at the end of this video. So, um, if you guys are looking forward to that, of course, please hit the like button down below. If you guys want to become a part of my vlogging world today, of course, hit the subscribe button. And if you guys want to get notified whenever I upload a video, of course, hit that bell. Without further ado, guys, once again, I do warn you, there are some, uh, a lot of curse words in here and a lot of things are going to be said about me. Um, I don't know what has been said. Um, this is going to be a whole another video for me. I'm going to be recording my reaction to this video once this video goes live. Um, which will probably be later today, <laughs> but be prepared guys, um, a lot of, probably gonna be a lot of negative things said in this video because it's my friend group and that's how they are. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of positive things, hopefully, but I won't know until I see it. So here's the videos guys. So, uh, I was told to make this YouTube appropriate, so no cussing, um, just want to say a few things about Sean. Uh, he's been a pretty good friend, actually. Uh, been there for me when I need him. Good guy. Eh, sometimes. Uh, but, yeah, Sean, happy birthday. It's really good to know you. I appreciate the fact that you're in my life. And uh, I get to say that you're, you're one of my close friends. So, Except when you hit me, which is a lot. So I don't appreciate being hit so much. Um, other than that, yeah, Sean's a pretty good guy. I got a lot more stuff to say, but not so YouTube appropriate. So, eh. Ew. So. Oh. So, my thoughts about Sean. Known this guy since high school, graphic design department. First knew we had the same sense of humor, since we like fucking around. But, 
all around good guy. Been serious, been through some serious shit, nearly broke my ass on his chair, still had fun. He takes a lot of stuff seriously and has a lot of serious shit on his plate, but he's the kind of guy that learns how to enjoy life. Hopeful survivor. Pretty odd name, considering he's had a lot of shit to deal with, but still all around hopeful. <clears throat> Even now, that is his house. Has a lot of friends. I'm very proud of the dude. So, as one nerdy dude to a uh, very nerdy dude who has a bunch of shit you can't see on this camera, uh, I'm glad to call him for him. Man, I'm fat. <laughs> okay, so what could I say about Hopeful Potato? First off, he's an awesome guy. I'm glad I'm, I met him. Um, he's funny, lovable, and you could catch him at work, OGP. Um, he has all this cool shit, if you look. All right there. Yep. All right there. But yeah. <laughs> How do you turn this shit off? Is it recording? I don't know. Yes. So. I was told to come up here and say some nice words about Sean. So the first thing I want to say is, I love you! I love you so much. You have been a rock when I really needed it, and I think you have a really big heart. You're always looking out for other people. And um, what else do I want to say about you? You are silly. You are a silly man. You know how to put a smile on people's faces and get people talking. I really enjoy that about you, especially because sometimes I can be very quiet or slip into the background and you make me come out of my shell. So I just want to thank you for the many years that I've known you. It's been almost nine now, almost nine years. Anyway, I love you. Uh, hey, Sean, I don't really know you too well. I just met you a, about a month ago but everything I know about you so far, you're very energetic. I really greatly appreciate you inviting me into your friend group here at the game nights. Um, I've had a lot of fun coming out here and hanging out with you guys. Uh, I look forward to many more game nights here with y'all. Um, can't wait to get to know everybody here a little bit better and I have you to thank for introducing me to everybody in this group, as, long, as well as Steph. She introduced me to you. But yeah, that's all I really got, man. Sean, it's going on four years that I've known you. I've been your friend, a great part of your life, and you've always introduced me to new things that I never had when I was a kid. I never played D&D, &D, I never had close friends because of the way I lived, and you introduced me to that. And I really appreciate it. And I gave, me, I gave you my trust with a lot of things, and I, and I hope you appreciate it. Um, I hope our lives, even though no matter how far we are, me and Cass go, or where our lives end in the future, I hope you are still part of my life and Cass's life when we get further in the future. I appreciate your friendship, man. Hopeful potato. Thanks, man. So my true thoughts on Sean. I mean, Sean and I have a very like love-hate relationship. We love each other, but also the decisions we make get on each other's nerves. But, Sean is one of the like purest hearts I know. He will give you the shirt off his back if he thinks that it'll make your life better. And that's just who he is. If he can help you, he will. I wouldn't be standing here today if I hadn't met Sean at the point in my life where I did. I wouldn't be part of this group. I wouldn't have such amazing friends. I would not be who I am. He took me under his roof, barely knowing me. And not a day has gone by where Sean has ever really had anything bad to say to me. He may not always like the decisions that I make. He may not always like the things I say. 
but I know at the end of the day, Sean is someone who will have my back and is my in my corner 100% of the time. I think it's highly ironic that uh, your shirt says, I got your back. I got your back! Because <laughs> Sean... There we go. All right. I didn't, uh... Then brainstorm. I should have. I should have done that. Uh, anyway, let's see. <sighs> Jonathan, you are an incredibly beautiful person. You are you're such a such a sweet sweet boy. You know, you just just want to coddle you. I just want to want to hold you. Such a such a good man. Um, uh, you know, I didn't even I didn't I didn't prepare for this. Uh, you you really do bring this vibrant energy wherever you go, and and you just are a bastion of positivity. Um, it truly is a treasure having you as a friend. Uh, I'm one of my oldest friends, uh, absolutely. One of my oldest, one of my closest friends. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's been wonderful. Um, you truly are a survivor. Thank you for letting me into your life. Take two. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you want to start this time? <laughs> Because I'm open the exact same way. Sean is a bitch. He's my friend. He's my brother. He's my family. He's your bitch. He's a bitch. <laughs> but I love him. Nah, he, he's always been there for us. Always been, like, he's dependable and he's definitely loyal. Like, there's, I never have to question with Sean on where I stand with him, and that's just great. Yeah. But he's still a bitch. Sean is one of my oldest friends, and I appreciate everything that he's done for us. Like, from just being someone that we could go to talk to about our problems, about our day, to helping us move, to helping us find furniture for our apartment. Like, He's always been one to go out of his way to help people, and I think that is an amazing quality to have. That kind of kindness, that kind of caring for people, even people he, he barely knows. That is one of the many qualities that he has that I really love about him. Just want to say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Sean. And we gonna be family till the day we die. He was a bitch last year, <laughs> bitch this year, and I expect the same next year. But we gonna be together till then. I'm out. All right. My knee hurts. <laughs> and this is a delicious watermelon though. Sean is one of the most amazing and fun people I have known ever since I have been at the house that I have been and I am highly grateful to have been able to know him, be able to take him, be over at his house, play games with him, everything. And I'm thankful to him for a lot of things. And I don't even think I could put it all into words because of everything he's done for me. He's introduced me into an amazing group and put me in this almost home-like feeling with everybody that I've been around and everything like that and I just have to say things hopeful and definitely happy birthday and there are the videos um once again I won't see this video until this video goes live um later today um so without further ado I'm going to reading this card um, for the people who 
didn't who weren't in this video but also all the people who were in this video as well so let's go ahead and read this. this is my first time reading this card guys so my reactions are going to be 100% genuine unless I should do this during the reaction video hmm Was actually change of plans. I'm gonna read this during the reaction video so y'all can get my reaction there. Sound good? Sounds good. All right, guys, that's the video for this one. Um, if you guys have enjoyed, of course, please hit the like button down below. If you guys want to get notified whenever I upload a video, of course, hit the bell. And to become a part of my vlogging world today, of course, hit the subscribe button. I think I already said that. I don't even know. Anyway, guys, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see y'all in the literal next video. Peace. But your words, they cry. If there's something that you need to say, I know it ain't easy living inside your brain, for sure. You keep telling me that it's all okay, but I know, yeah, your silence speaks so loud.